eggs to collect new Pokemon, collect Stardust, and more Pokemon candies is an essential part of the game. However, there are proper and improper ways to hatch your eggs. When hatching eggs, most players who are new to Pokemon Go like to go out for a nice walk, perhaps a jog, or even a bike ride in order to get the kilometers necessary to hatch their eggs. However, that is an improper method as it is the heat of summer. You wouldn't want to be getting sunburnt, um, getting prone to heat exhaustion, or even heat stroke. So today, I'm going to tell you the proper way to hatch eggs in a safe environment. In the original Pokemon anime, Ash, Misty, and Brock, along with many other Pokemon trainers, ran amongst the Kanto lands. Not to hatch eggs, but to just become Pokemon trainers. And now, everyone today thinks, oh, let's go outside and become a Pokemon trainer. Well, if you remember in the first episode of Pokemon, Ash's rival, Gary Oak, has a car and a squad of cheerleaders. Now, I'm going to use these methods to hatch eggs in Pokemon Go and explain why they are better than the methods that Ash and Co. used. Now, in order to get your eggs to hatch, like I said before, you either have to walk, jog, bike. Again, like I, I, let me reiterate my point of the heat exhaustion and heat stroke that you might get by going outside. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get into a car, and you will traverse the lands of your neighborhood, your town, your city, by going 10 miles an hour, or less than that. The game cannot register more than 10 miles an hour on your vehicle. However, this is much safer and you are able to hatch your eggs at a much faster rate unless you're a fucking cross-country star. So, let me present that to you now. I'm about to show you a safe and practical way to hatch your eggs by using an automobile. This is essential because I've noticed as a level 28 on Pokemon Go, that if you walk, bike, or fucking jog, like a fucking cross-country piece of shit, in the Pokemon Go game, I have done this many times while walking, jogging, or biking. Those, my, those, are, those are hobbies of mine. I do enjoy them. I'm not some fat fuck who just sits on his ass and fucking plays Overwatch all day. That's not me. But, as I said before, heat exhaustion is not good. Now, we have an automobile here that the Pokemon Go GPS will register every single kilometer you find. I'm level 28. I have biked, I have jogged, and I have walked to get the kilometers necessary to hatch 10 kilometer eggs, 5 kilometer eggs, and 100 kilometer eggs, which you will get at level 28. Now, the problem is, the GPS in Pokemon Go is inaccurate while you are walking, running, or jogging, or fucking biking. You need to be in an automobile for the GPS to accurately work. I will demonstrate this now as I get into my car. Here we go, reiterating Pokemon Go pro tip number one. I have pulled over, and I have put my hazards on. Now, I'm not going to have my hazards on for getting the egg, of course, because I will be moving. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a demonstration of what going 10 miles an hour might look like in a vehicle on a neighborhood road. I will demonstrate this to you.
Now, you might find yourself thinking, okay, well, I work all day. I work nine to five or I have school. If you're in summer school, year-round, Christian Academy, whatever. Now, to combat this, you'll be driving in the evening most likely. And you want to drive in neighborhoods that are um, more safe than some. Like, you don't want to, you want to be in a affluent, wealthy neighborhood that is not crime-ridden and poor. I will show you the difference between these two types of uh, egg-hatching neighborhoods now. Now, here is a neighborhood, Pokey fans alike, where you don't want to be hatching your eggs. You can clearly see the run-down, poverty-stricken area. This is not where you fucking hatch eggs, my friends. This is where you fucking die. You don't want to catch Pokemon or hatch eggs, but you fucking die. Now I'm going to drive to a neighborhood where you can drive 10 miles an hour, and you can catch Pokemon, fucking hatch eggs, and not fear for your life. Let me demonstrate that to you now. 50, oh more to see, to be a Pokemon master is my destiny. Here we go. Metapod, Marowak, Akuna, Clefairy, Dodrio, Seedra, Vileboom, Krabby, Hitmonchan, Porygon, Hitmonchan, I got it wrong, who's a fuck, you know, this song's like 20 years old now, get around a Beedra, Haunter, Squirtle, Chansey, Parasect, Execute, Muck, Dugong, Pajoto, Lapras, Vulpix, Rhydon, Chameleon, Warp, 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 Mewtwo, Tentacruel, Aerodactyl, Omnite, Slowpoke, Pigeon, Arbok, That's all of us! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, my friends, we've arrived in paradise. A neighborhood where you can go 10 miles an hour. And not fear for your life, which is important, very important. And you can hatch your eggs in no time at all. I can't wait to show you my house. Here we go. Let's do this, guys. Welcome home, everyone. My Pokemon Mansion. You are not pulling into their fucking house.